Mike yeah, Olson's in the house. Oh, great. Okay. All right, you want to do the intro? Hey, Mike. Congratulations. Good to see you. Man. All right. Good we're live. Yeah, we're going to be streaming live. We can see you here. Yep. Can you let, can you let your modest son know this coming? All right. Hi, Mike. Dave Vellante. Welcome to the Cube. Thank you. It's, uh, actually, you know the Cube because it's in your offices, right? So. Well, the Cube in this office has been broken down and set up like five zillion times. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've. Yeah, we're yeah, we uh, still run out to Guitar Center every now and then. Though, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're adding to our. Uh, it's growing. It's like an amoeba. It's like growing every time in hardware. We're still live, right? We're still rolling. Okay, so folks out there, we're on the ground floor of Hadoop World. This is SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, exclusive coverage of Hadoop World, put on by Cloudera, um, and uh, we're here with Mike Olson, the CEO. And this is a fabulous show. A lot of action. This is the heart of a major revolution that's developing. The Hadoop movement is driving massive change, and uh, it's really putting all the proprietary vendors on notice that the extraction of rents out of the environment not put back in for commercial innovation is, is over. And so I think Mike Olson uh, will address that. Mike, thanks for coming on theCUBE. And uh, uh, let's talk about Cloudera and the, and the innovation behind data. Thanks for having me on theCUBE. I'm excited to sit down with you guys. We're thrilled that Silicon Angle And provide live content. Uh, I think it's great for the large collection of people who wanted to be here but couldn't make it. We're having a wonderful time. Uh, the show is going great. The rest of the day will be outstanding. We've got a long list of excellent talks. And that really speaks to the maturation, the enterprise readiness of what's become a, a really innovative platform for data management. I think it's interesting that Hadoop the software is an open source project that genuinely creates a new technology. It's not commoditizing an existing market, but it's delivering new value, new power, doing new things for large-scale enterprise data analysis. The global community's done a beautiful job of creating a framework and then building out the surrounding technology to turn it into a business platform. And the adoption that we're seeing, the talks that we're going to be having here at Hadoop World, demonstrate how what, dramatic that event What is. has changed in your mind from one year ago to today? Obviously this is the second annual Hadoop World. Hadoop platform is very enabling, a lot of innovation, we've been talking about that. But in your mind, what's different this year than last year? The, the biggest single difference is the arrival of Hadoop the platform. The core Hadoop project is at the center of what is an important business data management platform but it has been complemented by new pieces have come into existence that allow enterprises to roll it out for real in production. You know, back in the day, if you wanted to use this software, you needed a lot of software foo in your data center. You needed a bunch of smart guys to make it sing. No longer the case. The community's created a complete platform, integrated components for data loading and query interfaces and integration with other infrastructure, and that advance makes it possible for ordinary companies to take advantage of it. Mike, talk a little bit about the survey data that you spoke about on stage. You had 150 respondents. That's from this show, right? Or was it from oh, yeah, a no, previous it, show? It, that, that's exactly right. So, so before- Talk Hadoop about World, what you learned there. We circulated, we circulated a survey asking people about the deployments that they have. You know, we found out that there are some 7,000 nodes in that population, that is cluster size total across all of them is that big. The largest single cluster is 1,300 nodes, so there's one enormous cluster. Outside the web companies, by the way, this is not a It's like real companies, stuff. like running production. And, and ordinary okay, so this is not Yahoo, Google, Facebook. No, this is, this is a new adopter, a conventional enterprise with conventional business problems. Interestingly to me, lots of people think about Hadoop as a way to deal with a lot of data. Many of the clusters that we see in deployment are 10 terabytes or less, 10 node clusters, right? The power of the platform is the analysis it can do. It's good that it can get big, but what it really does is deliver new analytical power. Insights on data that you couldn't have managed before, it answers questions that were impossible to ask before it existed. So the term big, big data applies to even small and mid-sized companies. It's yeah, in the yeah. eye of the beholder. Right? That's right, and, and, and I would say actually big data is what 
this was called when we were just getting to know it. Look, at the end of the day, it's all data, right? The stuff that we think is big today, terabytes, petabytes next year, exabytes the year after, and so on through the, the litany of ridiculous terms for large amounts of data. End of the day, you've got complex data from many sources, you want to ask important business questions of it, you need a new platform. So talk a little bit about those questions. Like what kind of questions can I ask today with, with Hadoop that I, that I couldn't ask before? You're able easily to integrate data from various sources. Structured tabular stuff that you've been storing in a relational database forever, but also log data. What do users do on your website? Uh, detailed historical transactional data that was too big to keep around. Let's look for patterns of activity. I want to be able to combine information about my customers, what they like, what they buy, with the actual transactions, maybe geographical information about them. Banks are using this platform better to understand risk in individual customers. If, if I can deduce from a person's economic activity that they've lost their job, I may want to go rescore the risk on their mortgage. I'd also like to be able to understand the risk in my portfolio as a whole. Understanding customers, better offering them products and services that they want, managing the business more efficiently, driving inefficiencies out, better capacity planning by collecting data from all of the electronic and human systems in one place is the kind of thing that we're seeing happen with Hadoop. Mike, we want to bring you back, but we have an uh, opportunity to bring Tim O'Reilly in who keynoted your event. Um, Wonderful. So we want to bring him in and uh, we want to bring you back. So Thanks I know you've got a busy schedule, but we'd like to bring you back, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, 